the lives of people have changed forever as a result of this fire season. The intensity and the frequency of the fires here is a, is a real concern. Much more frequent and much more severe. When a bushfire overruns an area too quickly for people to flee, it's known as a burnover. The CSIRO is investigating six cases in Victoria alone where people survived in underground bunkers during the summer fire season. Donald Graham from Buchan in Victoria's northeast is one of them. As the bush to the side of us caught up and a uh, serious ember attack, we decided that the time was right to head for the bunker. From inside, Donald watched his house burn. When the front passed, he emerged, just in time to save the shed. I did not expect, and would never have expected, emergency services to come out here in, to endeavour to save the house or save us. We're not asking other people to put their lives at risk for a decision that we make. If you've got a bunker, well then you've got you know, you've got it, you're not going to burn. Up the road, Donald's neighbours, Vicky and Martin Hanman, installed their bunker in October, months before the fires tore through. And when I heard that they were actually the right ones, yeah, we just went for it, yeah, as soon as possible. Victoria is the only state that has a formal accreditation system for certifying a bunker design. It means fire shelters like these are pre-made and purpose-built to meet high safety standards and can then be sold to the public. It's definitely not the first or preferred option at the top of anyone's personal bushfire survival plans. Justin Leonard studies how bushfires impact buildings and says bunkers should only be used as a last resort. It needs to be made out of materials that um, perform very well at high temperature so they don't break down or give off toxic gases and it needs to be really sealed. Otherwise, the results can be deadly. Eight people died in personal bushfire shelters in the Black Saturday fires in 2009. Six were in cellars, the other two in self-built bunkers. Jim Baruta made headlines in 2009 when he survived the deadly Black Saturday fires in Victoria in his homemade bunker. Shit. Shit. He spoke to 7.30 at the time. I could feel it in my throat that I could not breathe properly. There's no chance you could go out there. It, there was fires outside the door. Stories like Jim's led the subsequent Black Saturday Royal Commission to recommend there be a national standard for bunkers. But Victoria then went a step further with its accreditation system for pre-made ones, which no other state has done yet. Jim has since moved house and now plans to install a new bunker. To me it is an option of, of uh, last resort. The best thing is if you're not there. If other states were to consider the approach, the Victorian system appears to be functioning well and a lot of thought and um, scientific and engineering merit has gone into both the design and the accreditation process. Experts are divided, but the Bushfire Building Council of Australia says Victoria's bunker system saved lives in its submission to the current Bushfire Royal Commission. Fire authorities in other states are hesitant to endorse the use of bushfire bunkers in the same way Victoria has, with its accreditation system. There's concern that by encouraging the use of bushfire bunkers, it could create a false sense of security and complacency, where people risk riding it out in the bunker rather than leaving early. Rob Rogers, the Commissioner of the New South Wales Rural Fire Service, has now weighed in, conceding this past bushfire season could prompt a rethink of the attitude towards bunkers. There's inquiries, there's coronial is going to happen. We're happy to, I guess, get those recommendations. We'll look at what Victoria's done, and certainly we wouldn't reinvent the wheel. If they've done something that makes sense and is accepted by industry, then we'd, of course, uh, accept that and, um, and potentially endorse that for New South Wales. For Donald Graham, bunkers are worth every buck. If you're out here lying on the ground and getting, you know, burnt, 
you would pay the 16 grand any time, every time. And I, I think they'll become more prevalent. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.